buy more robotics. Uh, Jupiter. We're gonna sell all the robotics. Okay, that's 60 that we've done so far. Oh, okay, yeah, look, it looks like it's working because now I only have to deliver 74 robotics. This is very interesting. This is very interesting. Um, Mars looks like that's one that will actually prevent us from losing too much money. So we'll buy all. Very nice. Okay. And let's do Saturn one more time. I'm trying to, to keep the trips fairly short, as you can see. Okay. Jupiter. I think this is almost it. 44 units. Okay, so we need one more trip after this. I mean, so I'm actually losing a little bit, which is unfortunate. I'm going to pick up this life pod and the treasure. Let's go grab the life pod. You open the life pod. The crew is dead, but you are able to download information about hidden locations. Okay, oh wow! Got a couple ghost ships, and that's about it. So let's go grab those ghost ships. <laughs> I really should just finish this. Gosh darn it. Okay. There are no life sightings on board the ghost ship, but there's a reactor breach and the ship can explode anytime. Hurry. Alright. Now uh, we're gonna grab another ghost ship over here. Okay. So ghost ships can be funny. You found a hidden treasure, it is more worth about 10,000 credits. Beautiful. And if I remember correctly, one of the ways it works, I think right now I'm on day 125 up there, on the top left corner. As the days go on, the uh, the treasures that you find and whatnot will sort of scale up in level so that, uh, you know, you're doing better. Now, that's just what I remember. I'm not 100% sure, but it already seems like that a little bit because the last treasure we got was only worth 2,500 credits. Let's come here and grab the last bit of our mission, which is... Uh, the last bit of our mission. 14 more units of robotics. We'll just, you know what? We'll just buy it all. There you go. We're gonna go to Jupiter. And with that, not only do we make a slight, slight profit, but we finished it. You have delivered the required amount of goods and successfully completed the transport mission. You receive a reward of 20,000 credits. That's pretty awesome. That actually worked really well because as you can see now we have a hundred three thousand credits I'm pretty excited about that um, because if I come to buy a new ship you'll notice I now have enough money to get a shadow cat which is what we were going for I, I guess I could um, what's funny is I could keep going and try to get a paladin but I'm I really like that extra cargo space on the shadow cat I think I would like to stick with the extra cargo space um, I know it's not trading isn't my specialty though, so I should think about this. Because <laughs> trading really, really isn't my specialty. Um, and the Paladin looks a lot nicer. Fast ECM. While activated, this special ship ability reduces the action point cost for using the ECM to one. And, and this one gets, uh, allows you to safely guide your missiles. So, I mean, they're both nice. The base damage is higher on this guy. The base shields are a lot, significantly higher. I, I just know that I would do a lot better with that one in the long run. Um, let's visit the governor. Oh, there's no governor. The governor is on soul. Okay. I think we can keep, we're going to keep going and try to get that paladin. Uh, just for now. Targeting computers. <laughs> There's a chance of gun malfunction with plus 10% chance to hit. Price algorithms. Calculate the current economic situation. You will know the prices of commodities on distant planets, similar to the trader ability available on the skill tree. Okay, now sadly I don't have the trader ability, but that doesn't mean that I can't actually use price algorithms to try making a wee bit of a profit. And if we jump over to the cargo bay, um, I could upgrade this, get slightly better cargo space, do a couple more cargo runs, 
And you know what? That might be a decent idea. Let's let's give that a shot. I'm gonna be weird and give that a shot. Okay, my cargo bay has been upgraded, and we're going to re replace our. <laughs> we're gonna replace the, replace the targeting system because it doesn't seem to do anything. I'm assuming. And instead, we're gonna get price algorithms. Okay, so we have price algorithms, long range lasers, aero dummies. Wow, what a weird ship. At least we've got good engines, though. I always said, good engines are very important. So, um, I guess that's that. Now we're going to do more uh, transport missions. 200 diamonds to Saturn. Let's see what happens now that we've got price algorithms. Oh, beautiful. Okay, look at this. So this is how trading works in the game. Uh, 200 diamonds to Saturn. So we'll notice that Saturn has pretty much the same price as everybody else. Actually, you know what, that's the funny thing about uh, about trading is to make real profits, you're going to want to trade not in the same uh, system, right? It's the uh, through the wormholes and whatnot, that's where you're going to make most of your money. That said though, Saturn, I could make a bit of a profit on robotics to Saturn right now. I mean, let's go through this and find out what's the best and see how that, how that turns out for us. So... So far, I'm going to say robotics looks to be the most profitable. Unfortunately, I can't buy any robotics. There's none here. Um, engines. Delicacies. No. Rare pets. No. Jewelry. I could try smuggling some prohibited goods and see how that works for me. But uh, that is a crime, and I'll probably get caught, and then that wouldn't be very good. No, it's going to have to be robotics, but right now, okay, let's go for the diamonds. Let's try to get diamonds to Saturn. I think I can, I think I can do that. Uh, it's going to take four trips or so, and we will get a very nice 34,000 reward. All right. I think part of the reason behind the transport missions, perhaps, is that it's not very profitable. So this way it can be. Okay, I'm going to accept the transport mission. 200 diamonds to Saturn. Done. Easy. Alright, so we get our 45 diamonds. We go to Saturn. Oops. Okay, we sell our 45 diamonds. Actually making a little profit, I think. We go back to Jupiter. No, we need more diamonds. Okay, so we're going to go to Mars next. Let's go to Earth. Whoa, hostile encounter. All hands to battle stations. Hostile spaceship ahead and closing in. What? Why? Why? Why is there a hostile encounter? Star Wolf fighter with turbo lasers. Okay. This looks easy enough. But why did this happen? Ah. That's okay. That should be easy. We got this. Shots. Beauty. Nice. Oh, one more shot. Apparently not. Bam. Okay, and now we're gonna buy buy all our diamonds. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab that artifact. You have found a strange alien artifact. You can either sell it to the black market or give it to your government for fame. We're gonna give it to the government for fame. Uh, move over to Saturn. It's taking quite some time here. Uh, sell all our diamonds. Okay. Jupiter has a few diamonds, but not that many. Mars is slightly better. Earth. Oh, you're gonna have to go to the moon at any rate. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go to Mars. Buy all the diamonds, and we're gonna sell those diamonds at a bit of a loss. A major loss. 
but just enough loss that I'll notice and be sad. Okay, um, how are we doing for the mission? 65 more units. Okay, two more runs. So, if I go to Jupiter and Earth, not really, moon will give me 50. Okay, we're gonna go to the moon. Oh, there's another treasure popping up. Give me diamonds. Okay, uh, grab the treasure. Another 10,000 credits. Go Saturn. Drop those off, and I think Jupiter should uh, should finish us up here. All the Wait, what? Oh, yeah, we got all the diamonds. Saturn, 20 units. Here you are. Bam! You have delivered the required amount of goods and successfully completed the transport mission. You receive a reward of 34,000. And a little bit of fame. Not too shabby. All right, let's uh, do maybe one more transport mission. Rare pets. Oh, that's nice because that's not going to take as long and we're going to get just as much money. Rare pets is very nice. Okay, we're going to do a rare pets transport mission to the moon. So, rare pets. That was the really expensive one, wasn't it? There you go. There's zero rare pets here. 30 rare pets there. Two there, thirty there, zero there. Okay, so Saturn and the Moon do not have rare pets. With that in mind, we're gonna go to Jupiter. We're going to buy as many rare pets as we can. We're gonna go to Mars. Grab as many more rare pets as we can. Then we're gonna drop them off at the Moon. Sell them all. Jump over to Earth, I guess. Buy as many rare pets as we can. And, um. 89 units. Shoot, there might not be enough rare pets in the, uh. in this here system. Kind of a bummer. Maybe I should have thought about this better. I need 56 more units of rare pets. Oh, there's not 56 units of rare pets. Oh, that is so disappointing. What will I do? Alright, 20 fair pets there. What have I done? No. Why would I do such a thing? We're going to Oh, it's over. See, now it's 200. Day 201. I have failed in my endeavor. I have failed. Alright, sell all those rare pets. Yeah, we've actually been making a profit off of the rare pets, so it's not super bad, but I am legitimately disappointed that I don't have more rare pets. I need 32 more units, and there's like 5 in Seoul. So, let's go to the pirate hideout, see if they have rare pets. sound. Oh, look at this. For your great efforts, the Federation High Command awards you President Washington Campaign Ribbon. To be prepared for war is the most effectual means to promote peace. Cool. That, actually, I'm pretty sure that's, a, that's an ancient uh, Roman thing. If you want peace, prepare for war. So that's, that's a really bad translation of a Latin of a Latin, uh, famous saying. I forget who said it. It was a great saying though, wasn't it? Alright. Where are we at? We got a... Oh, we're at the pirate hideout. Okay. Still can't afford to buy the hideout. I can explore it. I can hide there. I can hide. I wonder what hide does. 